Yo, my peoples them, we're back. Um, today we're doing something that's like a spin-off of another recipe. So for those of you, bear with me, I just spat everywhere. Yo, my peoples, we're back. Sunday sessions, we're here. So today, right, is a spin-off of a recipe that we've done before. So for those of you that have seen Camille's chicken, this is a spin-off recipe that mum created off the back of dad's Camille. The back of dad's Camille's chicken, yeah? Um, so, link is in the description or probably here or something. It's not, or it is. Yeah, link's probably here, maybe. We don't know, it's the first time we're doing this shit, innit? So, click that one, get the marinade, Marinate your chicken, put your chicken on the barbecue. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now I'm just going to roll this in this bit of oil that's been sat in, just to create smoke and flavour, yeah? And then... A nice sprinkling of salt on both sides, right? So... Chicken on. You're probably wondering why I'm holding this. This is going to go on too. So this is just like Turkish peppers and a tomato cut in half. Again, we want a little bit of oil on this just to start the cooking process and a crack of salt, right? Uh, so these Turkish peppers are, they're weird, man. They're like padron. So you get some that are really hot. Go for the darker colored ones. They're quite spicy. With this, where dad's cut them in half, the bottom ends won't be as spicy as the top ends. Where the seeds are is where it's more intense, right? So get those all on, blistering, charring, doing whatever they're doing, right? So, I feel like we all go to kebab shops and eat the same thing, right? There's, you go to a kebab shop, there's like a fucking 50 different dishes on a kebab shop menu, yeah? We all get the same thing all the time. It's either mixed grill, doner, wings, or fucking lamb ribs, yeah? In the bottom section, there's a, a little thing that's like, your lo, yeah, which means served with yogurt, yeah. So that falls into like any piece of meat cooked over fire with like a little tomato sauce over bread, yogurt on top, brown butter to finish. That's what we're doing today. If you don't want to make this recipe, please go to your local kebab shop and get like an iskender or your lo adana and just try it and see. We're trying to take Turkish food that way now, do you know what I mean? Like, we've seen a few bits, we've seen like basic kebab shop cooking and whatever. There's a whole fucking vast menu of food out there. Go try something different, innit? So we're gonna let our chicken cook and then we're gonna move on to making our tomato sauce. So, pan on, medium heat, casual, casual. And now we're gonna make a very basic tomato sauce, right? So what we need is a good knob of butter, Butter, melting, yeah? Now we're gonna go in with a big tablespoon of tomato puree. I don't often use tomato puree, right? Because I feel like it's cheating. But in a lot of Turkish food, I've got it coming out of two ends, bro. What the fuck have I managed that? In a lot of Turkish food, we use tomato puree, isn't it? And it's like concentrated tomato flavor. There's a sweetness behind it. Um, don't get a dog shit tomato puree, don't get like the 50p one, spend a little bit more money because the, the, the more you spend, then they've used better tomatoes, isn't it? So, that's about a tablespoon of tomato puree. And we're just going to fry it down, right? Almost want to get it to a point where it starts to catch, yeah? So we're just allowing the tomato puree to bleed into our butter, which is going to carry all the flavour. And this is just like an intense tomato flavour in the base, yeah? Just going to add in two whole grated tomatoes, I cut them in half, flesh side, grated them. In they go. And like any other tomato sauce, we want to cook off the liquid, right? So we're going to let this fry together for a bit. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. I 
and we're going to fry it until we've lost about half of the liquid in the pan, yeah? Now, the, the tomato puree is going to give us a sweetness and a depth, but the fresh tomatoes are going to give us an acidity and like a vibrancy and a freshness. This tomato sauce isn't really the outstanding part of the dish. The outstanding part of the dish is all the elements marrying together. So we're not going to spend loads of time making a beautiful tomato sauce and fucking messing about with it and cooking for hours. So it's just a little sauce to bind everything together. Almost like a ketchup on chips, do you know what I mean? Like, if the ketchup's there, you're like, yeah, cool, I'll use ketchup. But if it's not there, it's not like, oh, fuck, man needs ketchup to eat chips. So you just want a little something, something. So look, I've cooked the sauce out. I've lost half of my liquid, right? Gonna add about a cup of water. I'm gonna allow that to come to the boil. And it's going to be quite a wishy-washy sauce, quite watery, but that's what we want. So just let this come to the boil now, and then we'll set it to one side. So we almost want to re reduce it by half. Tomato sauce, still quite wishy-washy, right? We've boiled it, it's reduced by half. I'm not gonna bother taking it any further than that. I'm just gonna set it to one side and we're gonna warm it through again when the chicken's cooked. We're gonna make a little yogurt sauce, right? In here, I have two massive tablespoons of Turkish strained yogurt, yeah? So it's like hung, it's thicker, it's nicer, it's yummy. Yeah, yum, mm, that's yum, mm, yum. One big clove of garlic. Just gonna grate it in. Now into that, I wanna go, nice whack of salt. And then I'm gonna do something that you're gonna be like, what? Yeah, I'm gonna warm the yogurt up, right? You have to be careful doing this. We don't wanna put cold yogurt on top of something because it just doesn't, there's, there's time and place for contrast, but for this, I don't want the contrast of hot and cold. So. Nice, gentle heat, yeah? Which this doesn't really do, but nice, gentle heat. If we warm this yogurt up too fast, it's gonna split. We just wanna bring it together so that the garlic is up to temperature and it's not like fucking raw. So we're just gonna warm this through gently, gently, yeah? Yogurt, warm. And you'll see that when you warm yogurt, it starts to go like, it's more of a hippie. It's more like, oh, hey, I'm warm yogurt and I'm different, but I've got the same characteristics. That's what warm yogurt does, yeah? Warm your yogurt gently. Just give these a little check. Chicken's not that far off. I reckon these veg need another two or three minutes. My dad, right, listen, this is where it starts. When my dad buys meat for a barbecue, he buys the entire week's worth of meat, cooks it on a Sunday, yeah? Because dad's happy to eat cold meat for the rest of the week. Mum doesn't want to want to do that. So there's a one rainy Monday night. Mum was like, I've got all this leftover chicken. I'm going to make Iskender. So she made her little tomato sauce, made her yogurt, brown butter on top, bread on the bottom. And we were like, oh, fuck, this is... Mum's pulled this one out of the bag. Mum's a good cook still. But I was like, ah, oh, I want to make this. But I'm going to do it the way that you do it in a kebab shop. So I'm going to serve it right. I'm going to make a nice little chicken gonna warm my yogurt up so it's like hippie yogurt and we're just gonna have a good time so like large up mum mum doesn't often get shouted out in the videos but she's the first one to watch them with me all the time large up mumsy this one's for you my ginger haired queen you get me the white woman of my life so my tomatoes and my peppers have like blistered and softened i don't want to cook them anymore i'm just going to set them to one side look how pretty they are this is like a very, very, very typical garnish to kebabs in Turkey. Everything served with like some sort of fire roasted vegetable and it's normally peppers and tomatoes. Thank you. So when we did Cam's chicken, I cooked the chicken breast whole. All I've done here 
is I've used the same marinade, but I've cut into like little two inch cubes that I've then fed through the skewer. You could do this with whole chicken breast, for sure. You could do this with leftover lamb shish. You could do this with leftover cuff there. But for me, I find that you've got more control cooking on a skewer. I can cook each side evenly. So this yogurt now, I've turned, turned the pan off, but like you see how it's like loose. It's warm through. It's punchy from garlic, it's seasoned. I know it seems weird, right? But warm yogurt's a vibe, man, trust me. I wouldn't let you down. I haven't let you down yet. This is not the time to let you down. No one's getting let down, you get me? So warm up your yogurt, but gentle. Don't cook it too fast. And then just let this sit. And basically, we're pretty much done now. We're waiting for the chicken to, to be cooked. And then we can just stack it and make deliciousness. Put it in our mouths. Job's a good one. Run the music. Yeah, that's my rhythm. chicken is beautiful, caramelised, still bouncy, soft, delicious, right? I'm just going to leave that on the grill. Our peppers and tomatoes that we took off earlier, I'm just going to give them a little flash so they're not cold. I'm just going to flash our yoghurt sauce. Take the edge off, I want to bring it out back warm. And then I'm going to stick these two Greek pitters on top of my chicken and my vegetables. Now, the reason I've gone for Greek pitters is because you can see these little like divots, yeah? These little holes. Now, when we cut them, it's the opportunity to soak up the brown butter, the yogurt sauce, the tomato, and like soak it. You know when you eat fucking beans on toast, right? And you always want the last bit that's like completely covered in bean juice. That's what we're looking for with these. So I've gone for something with little holes in, yeah? Stick those on for, to warm through. So look, the yogurt, when it's warm, goes into like this milky, double cream consistency, right? Take it to there. Then, warm up your tomato. The tomato won't take that long. Give these breads a turn, make sure they don't go too crispy. We want them to stay nice and bready, right? We want them to be doughy so they soak up all the juices. Tomato sauce is up to temperature. I'm going to drop my pan down to a medium heat. Stick my pan on. Get these out of shot. And we're going to build our bottom layer of the York little chicken shish, yeah? So, take the bread. And we're just going to cut it into cubes like you're doing beans on toast. Like, nothing special. Can go into the bottom of our bowl, yeah? Now, just to get the whole soaking shit happening quicker, I'm gonna add a little bit of the tomato sauce now on top of the bread. Yeah? Then we're gonna take one of our shish. Just break it into the little individual cubes. That's going to go on top. All right. Now we're going to go the rest. We're going to go the rest of the tomato sauce on top of the chicken. And then we're going to add our warm hippie yogurt over the top. of our chilies just on the side like that i'm gonna hit it with a little bit of turkish chili flakes now while we've built that our pans come up to heat this is all just gonna sit and it's gonna allow to like marinate and sit in each other's juices we're gonna stick this knob of butter into this pan
Right, look, brown butter. Ready, yeah? It's hot. We're gonna spoon this over the top, right? And the butter's just gonna like creep through the middle, sit on top of the yogurt, run through the tomato sauce. It's gonna seep all the way down to the bread on the bottom. And it's gonna be fucking absolutely delicious. So, that's your little chicken shish, yeah? We've got, I just wanna see if we soak the bread. For me, that's the best bit. Where is all the fucking bread? There's the bread, look. Look at this bit of bread, man. I'm not even showing you the chicken first. The bread's the most exciting bit. The bread sucked up absolutely everything, right? And this should be fucking joyous. Bruv, it's so nice, man. Let's get a little bit of chicken. Bread on the bottom, yogurt sauce, brown butter. Spurs. Spurs. I don't know if you lot can hear the football in the background, but we're pretty close to the Tottenham Stadium. Delicious. It's so rich, but like, the yogurt just cuts through it. And every so often you get a bit like a brown butter background. It's got everything you want, man. Acidity from tomatoes, clean fresh yogurt, brown butter depth, bread on the bottom and meat. You're living a dream. It's basically me in a dish, man. Like, it's mum, it's dad, idea, Hassan, yeah? Oh, I'm marching in. Oh, when it's first, I'm marching in. Right, so, large up mum and dad each and every time. We're just gonna sit here now until sunsets and drink beers, chat shit, and eat your little chicken shish. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, very appreciating you watching the video. Catch us next time where we're making, we don't know what we make yet because we, we don't decide. But catch us next time, innit? You get me? I'm Hassan, he's George, we're signing out for now. Sunday sessions, bow. I'm just a happy boy, man. George is dribbling onto his hands, I can see it.